exit, they call it Texit, and many of those companies have been eyeing Miami because of the warmer weather and lower taxes. Miami is known for the beaches and the sun, but the mayor is hoping it will soon also be known for tech. His push to recruit tech companies away from California all started with this tweet three weeks ago. Just my tweet alone, uh, where I tweeted out to someone, how can I help create Miami? Uh, you know, to be more like Silicon Valley. It got three million impressions. The tweet went viral, and Mayor Francis Suarez used the moment as a way to lure companies he says are fed up with California's high taxes and unfriendly business climate. At the end of the day, uh, people will go where they find it easy to do business, where it's inexpensive, and, and where they feel wanted. Several tech companies and entrepreneurs from Silicon Valley have started the process of moving to Miami. Entrepreneurs like Lucy Guo, named on the Forbes 30 under 30 list for co-founding Scale.com, an artificial intelligence company. She was also the first female product designer at Snapchat. What's the situation in Silicon Valley right now? Are, why are people like you relocating to places like Miami? San Francisco isn't the best city in the world. Uh, I can describe an instance where like, once I was chased by a guy who was saying that he wanted to rape me, so that I ended up having to hide in a Petco, and my laptop stolen from me at Starbucks, and I chased the guy a mile and ended up catching him. Um, I was very proud of that. <laughs> and, um, there were just needles on the ground, et cetera. I had like a guy like grab my hair and attack me. Um, really not like the best place to be city-wise. Guo says after COVID hit, she realized she didn't have to stay in San Francisco, and Miami had a reputation of being open for business and welcoming. Some of the tech people I've seen on Twitter say that they don't feel welcome anymore in Silicon Valley, and they want something new, and they like that the mayor in Miami is welcoming them. Can you explain why don't they feel welcome in California anymore? I think there are a lot of regulations that make it actually much harder to start a company. Like I knew there was something being passed with office space that just made it more expensive for smaller offices. Um, and in Miami, the mayor is like literally rolling out the red carpet, which is, uh, I never imagined that like, a mayor would be welcoming me. <laughs> and it's not just Miami. Other states are welcoming tech companies too. Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced plans to leave California for Texas. And Hewlett Packard also has plans to move out of California and move to Houston. What we're trying to do is create a favorable environment for companies to succeed and roll out the red carpet and let them know that we want them here. And as part of the push to get tech companies to Miami, the mayor says he will create a new position, a chief technology officer in Miami in 2021. There are other cities doing this, too, trying to recruit tech companies. They, uh, among many, include Nashville, uh, Austin, and Charlotte, North Carolina. Live in Miami, Brian Enton, News Nation.